uh, obviously they were a Super Bowl uh, loss to the to the LA Rams. Uh, so, Wyatt, how do you think they did in this year's draft? I I was actually pretty impressed with this one as well. I feel like the AFC North did a decent job as well with their drafts. Um, first off, I think one of the most underrated first rounders in this draft is Daxon Hill safety out of Michigan. Uh, because Kyle Hamilton is so good, people just didn't really take a look at Daxon Hill and how he has a shot to be, if not the best safety, a top two safety in this draft class. So I think they solved an issue at safety by filling there. Cause I don't know. Did they get Jesse Bates back? Uh, did they resign Jesse. Bates? I think I heard they did sign him re back, but I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Let me check and see if they resign him real quick. Uh, yes. They, okay. So they, Jesse Bates is still on roster. So this is a nice addition here. Dax and he'll pair him with, up uh, with Jesse Bates. They also went with uh cornerbacks. Cam Taylor Britt. Uh, so I, I was I would I like that pick in the second round out of Nebraska. Um, the big thing here for them for the offseason is they really needed a lot of offensive line. And I was expecting this draft to be mainly offensive line. You know, we saw in the fourth round with Cordell Volson guard out of North Dakota State. But uh overall, they got their guys through free agency instead of through the draft. I mean, they got uh, what was it, Kappa and um Lael Collins. They brought in Lael Collins and uh, Kappa for their offensive line. So they're bringing in that protection for Joe Burrow to where that uh, that knee scar is, is going to be able to, <laughs> you know, you can look past it now at least a little more. Right. And then, like I said, they just brought in Volson. So another guy that uh, he you can kind of universally play him anywhere on the interior offensive line. So he's a plug and play guy. And uh, I'm excited to see what this this class can do. Let's see here. T- uh, T- uh, Tyson Anderson, safety out of out of Tulsa, fifth round pick, not a bad addition there. And then uh, Jeffrey Gunter, the edge out of Coastal Carolina, with their seventh round pick, just adding somebody on that defensive line, more more pad there. So I will say their best pick. <clears throat> once again, I I keep on saying this, but I I hate going with the first rounder. I feel like that's cheating, but. Nothing really on their on their draft card here just stands out to me like Daxton Hill does. I mean, Daxton Hill is a great coverage safety who can also do a little run stopping for you when needed. So I really like Daxton Hill. I like the way he plays. He's all over the field. He, he's a safety. He does what he's supposed to. Exactly. Um, and I think he's going to be a really good addition to this uh, Bengals defense. So people in Cincinnati are going to be excited about Daxton Hill. So that's that's my best pick for them. Well, uh, and then just my, to add uh, to your overall, point there, Wyatt – this guy was supposed to be a top 15 pick and he kept sliding down, sliding down and sliding yep. down. So I mean, it, it was a steal like in th- on the 31 there. So yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to add that point in there for you. No, no, you're good. No, no. Yeah. No, no. I think, I think a lot of safeties for some weird reason kind of fell this year in the draft. I mean, we even saw, I, I thought for sure there was no way Kyle Hamilton was making it out of the top 10. Yeah. I was, I was going to be, surprised if he made it out of the top seven, but I was going to be like really surprised he made it out of the top 10. And then when he went 14th, I was just like, you got to be kidding right now, especially, especially whenever you had the Vikings at 12, you know, and they traded down to Detroit when the Vikings were at 12 with them already, you know, Harrison's getting up there in age, he's getting older and it's time to, you know, the Minnesota Vikings have always valued having a defense uh, and a good defense at that. So, I was pretty surprised that they didn't take him at 12 and that they had traded down. But uh, this is just another safety in this class who is who is really good, but did, yes, did fall. So with that being said, I think they did a good job overall in their draft. Not, like I was saying, saying oh, nothing really stands stands too out at me other than Daxton Hill. So I didn't want to I didn't want to put him in that A A minus uh, category because like I said, there isn't really a you know boom factor to this. Uh, they got they got oh, they just got a bunch of really solid guys who are going to make their team better. But they didn't get, you know, they didn't get the, the a, a big a big guy. You know what I mean? A, a, a guy who's going to come in <clears throat> and he's going to be other than Daxton Hill and he's going to be a all pro, just an all out just dude. So I gave them a B as well on this. Yes. 